throughout this very busy pageant week, our judges have had several opportunities to see all of the Miss Universe candidates. In preliminary judging, they saw the girls in their national costumes, they saw them in swim suits, and they saw them in evening gowns. On Thursday and Friday of this week, our judges had personal interviews with each contestant, and tonight they're seeing them all again. Voting individually and secretly, the judges have now chosen 12 semi-finalists. And may I have the list, Mr. Puritz, please. Thank you very much. Now, here are the names of the 12 young ladies who have a chance to go on and become Miss Universe. The contestants do not know which of them have been selected as semi-finalists. Any of them could be on this secret list. Now, they're not in alphabetical order. So when I begin reading them, each girl has a chance until the very last name is announced. Good luck, girls. Here we go. The first name among the 12 semi-finalists is Miss Haiti. And number two on this important list is Miss Finland. And now, to join our first two semi-finalists, here comes Miss El Salvador! Semi-finalist number four is Miss Columbia. Our next semi-finalist is Miss Philippines. And with the announcement of the next name, we are half there, halfway there. The next name is that of Miss England. Our next semi-finalist is Miss Japan. The eighth name on our list of semi-finalists is the name of Miss Israel. Next semi-finalist is Miss Ireland. And another Latin among the semi-finalists, Miss Brazil. Brazil could not find her way down off the pyramid.
Now we have two more names on the list, and one of them is Miss Sweden. And now I have only one last remaining name, one last girl who has a chance to be Miss Universe, and that girl is Miss USA. And here are our 12 semi-finalists in the Miss Universe Beauty Pageant for 1975. on this fascinating country, El Salvador. It seems that as far back as the dawn of man, the Indians were going along minding their own business, building pyramids and cities and having a, a good time until about 1542 when a Spanish conquistador named Pedro de Alvarado was sent here from Mexico by Cortes. He captured the Indian capital, Cuscatlan, and founded the city of San Salvador. In the process, he picked up a lot of gold that didn't belong to him and destroyed a bunch of cities that weren't hurting anybody. The conquistadors were very big at that sort of thing, apparently. It said the jungles are full of cities they destroyed. The jungle overgrew and covered them, and people have forgotten that they were ever there. One of the biggest and most interesting of the ruins is Tasumal, just an hour's drive from here, and we'll see some pictures of it later. Some of our group went out to see it, and they say it's a sight they'll never forget. Maybe someday, far in the future, people will visit our set and say the same thing about it. If the jungle doesn't take it over, of course. Now, let's hear this message about Sure, antiperspirant spray. 